Sparkle Squad, this is Monica. I'm coming at you with another candy bouquet, and this one is another one that I've done for Administrative Professionals Day. Now, the twist on this one is that instead of using the Dum Dum Lollipops, I am using some chocolates. I'm going to be using some Hershey Nuggets, some of these Layer Crunch Bars, a Ball Mason Jar, and this is in a blue color, a little card that I made with some graphics and it says thanks for always being on the ball happy administrative professionals day I have two different kinds of ribbon but I think I'm going to be using this camo this blue camo ribbon some corrugated cardstock you know it wouldn't be a sparkle by Monica without some sparkle some glitter stars let's get started there's several colors in this little package I think I got this at Joann's a couple years ago so tonight, I think it was going to be between the green or the navy blue, and we're going with the navy blue. Now that is in large part due to the fact that I'm going to be using this ribbon here versus the peace signs with the bright green background, although I do like that because it has a little glitter on it. Just pull the sheet out of that, and I have the card that I printed, so I'm going to cut out one of these squares, and then I'm going to take one of my scissors here. This is the jigsaw pattern to cut a border around this square and that'll kind of give it like a little postage stamp look to it. Take my ATG gun and put some adhesive on the back of this square so that I can apply it to the cardboard. And I did print that on white cardstock, just with an inkjet printer. So, so there is this. Now if you want to do any kind of shaping on the corners, you can do that either with a pair of scissors or I wouldn't advise using your pattern scissors here on this corrugated card, cardboard because it just won't really look good. Okay, so here is the mason jar and I'm just taking the lid off. And this is a ball mason jar, and I believe I got these also at Joann's. After removing the lid, I'm going to put this aside here that says ball, and just put the ring back on it. Okay. And then in the hole, I'm going to pour the milk chocolate and toffee almonds Hershey nuggets, just to feel like, like you would a vase. Except this is with some chocolatey goodness. So that's going to shine through. It's kind of a golden color on the wrapper, so it's pretty shining through that blue. If you want to use tissue paper like I did in my Dum Dum Bouquet video, you can do that. Now the next phase of this will be to use some candy bars that I have here. And I'm just going to be taping these to the sticks that I have and then putting the sticks into the jar. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my ATG gun and run a strip of adhesive on at least one side of the candy wrapper, but if you wanna do both sides, go ahead and hit it, oops, go ahead and hit it on both sides there. Just gives the stick something to hold on to and make sure that you put it whichever way your wrapper is showing so that it's right side up, you, that way you don't have an upside down candy bar. And then fold over the flap and push down onto the adhesive and there you go. Okay, so now it's on your little stick. And if you have skewers, you can do that as well. I'm just using these. These are leftover chopsticks or we didn't use them because we get Thai shrimp noodle soup from Whole Foods all the time and they give us these little chopsticks which we never use. And they actually happen to be the exact height that I need here for this particular jar project. So just by itself, I've got all the candy bars on the sticks and they're just actually at the right height for these little mason jars. It goes back out now and put the candies in. This card is going to be sticking out of all the candy bars in the top. So that means I need to get that onto the stick. 
I'm going to actually use some transparent tape to put on the back of the card here. Okay, so now we've got this sign that I need to somehow get down into the center, which I think actually did exactly what I wanted it to the first time. That'll never happen again. So I rearranged the candy bars a little bit more so that I can actually put this behind the candy bars that are sticking out, but yet I'm going to poke this, the stick down into the center of the smaller candy bars here. And then if I can get all that to fit, I'm going to take this one candy bar and slide it down in here so that it hides this front stick. Success! <laughs> Whew, goodness gracious. Okay, so here's one of the foam stars that I have. It's got glitter on it. I've taken the sticker paper off of the back and I'm just going to stick this up here on the corner. So there is the foam stickers with the card, the candy bars down in the center on sticks and down here in the jar itself. Now I've got to put the ribbon on for this particular one, we're going to use this blue camouflage. He was in the military, and it will match the jar beautifully. This is a 5 8 inch ribbon, so it's a pretty wide ribbon. So I'm just going to tie a bow. So I've got about 25 inches, I believe, of ribbon. And I'm going to put this around the neck of the jar. I have just pulled this around and crossed the bow or the ribbon over itself. Now I've got the printed side down here on the bottom. And then I have the blank side facing up here at the top. So with the printed side that's facing down, I'm going to make my first loop so that the printed side is facing up. I'm going to bring the second part of that loop with the printed side over the first loop. And as I come around that, I'm going to turn this underside down where the print now is facing downwards in order to push through with my thumb so that when it comes through the loop, the printed side is facing up on this other side of the loop here. Now, I still have the underside over here with the blank side up. So before I start to tighten this down, I'm going to make adjustments now to my bow so that I can get the printed side turned back on this tail here. So I'm just going to take this and make a turn. I've got a little bit of a fold right here and that's because of how I've I've tried to pull this through so what I could do is pull it to fix here and then pull it and turn to give it a little twist inside this section here underneath so that the folded part is happening within the knot itself and not over here in the bow area. by folding the ends here and cutting or I could just make a diagonal cut across the ribbon which I think that's what I'm going to do here. Now if you have a lighter or some sort of a heat source and you want to put a little heat to the ends here so that the, it's a gross, gross, grain, gross grain ribbon so that it kind of melts it and keeps it from fraying. Uh, or if you have some of that no fray glue, you could put that on here. I want him to be able to use this mason jar. What I decided to do was just get a piece of my clear tape, fold it over it on, it, on itself, because I don't want it to be a permanent sticky. And then I just put that folded over tape right here on the back of the lid and pressed it down on the card. But when he takes that lid off, 
that tape will be right underneath that star and he can just poke it back down if he wants to save the card. This is a cute little gift. You can make this really for any occasion. Get well gifts, Mother's Day, happy birthday. This is just something that I like to do for admin professionals day because you know, it's something that, especially if you've got a lot of admins in your office, you can get various bags of candy and open those up and divvy them up between the admins and last longer than flowers because as we know, real flowers tend to fade away pretty quickly if they're in my house. <laughs> it just makes an overall really nice and thoughtful presentation. If you don't like these mason jars, you can use a mug. That would be a nice gift or a pencil cup since it's for admin professionals day. So that is my little admin professionals gift for this year and I enjoyed making this candy bouquet for you. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, please hit the little bell icon so you can get future notifications each time I post new content. Have a sparkle-rific administrative professionals day, y'all. Bye!